we are enabling robots to do in-hand manipulations. The object in hand is recrossed by pushing it against the environment, particularly using the pushes during which the object sticks to the environment. We call this stable prehensile pushing. Our recent work demonstrates the application of stable prehensile pushing to force an object to a desired grasp. The major contribution of this work is the mechanics formulation. It predicts if the object will stick to the pusher or will slide on it. The mechanics evaluation is a feasibility query. It checks if the wrench required for a desired push falls inside the generalized friction cone of the pusher. If it does, as in for this example, the pusher will stick to the object. For planning in-hand manipulations, we combine the mechanics evaluation with a sampling-based planner. The planner explores the configuration space of different grasps and generates a tree of grasps connected with stable prehensile pushes. A path in this tree is a pushing strategy to force the object to a desired pose in the grass. To evaluate the capability of our planner, we consider different in-hand manipulations. In the first example, where the robot wants to move the object offset to the center, the robot simply pushes the object from side as it achieves the desired regrasp. When using the pushers with low friction, the robot realizes that simply pushing from side will not work and it has to use two different contacts to effectively force the object to the desired grasp. This shows how our planner can reason about and exploit the contact dynamics. Another feature of the planner is that it tries to reduce the pusher switchovers as much as possible. For this regrasp, which involves both displacement and rotation of the object in hand, the planner converges to a strategy which uses only one pusher. The last example of manipulating a non-convex object shows the capability of our planner to reason about long horizon strategies. Rather than pushing the object straight towards the goal, which in this case will result into losing the grasp on the object, the planner comes up with a strategy that respects the geometric constraints. With such capability of using the environment to manipulate objects in hand, Simple robots with simple creepers will be able to do in-hand manipulations.